Today has not been the best day, honestly. This is why I document on a journey you will have both. Man, you know what? I would love to help that person, but they don't have a clue on what it actually takes. I just don't like the VC game. I just don't want, I just don't want to play around with these jokers. There's a lesson in that. Like, don't wait. You know, you go towards it, and then boom, it happens. Six to 12 months for what? So this needs to speed up. What's going on guys? Today is August 13th, 2024. We have 80 days until we launch the All Dreams platform. Um, right now it is 7.43 a.m. here in Cartagena, Colombia. I'm in my office. Thank you for joining my daily documentation, okay? Um, I'm documenting building my startup and if you, if, 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 this is your first time, my name is Hassan El Sadiq. I am an entrepreneur, former pro basketball player overseas, uh, and I'm building a startup, okay? Um, man, what's going on today? What's going on today? Uh, so I have a meeting at maybe 11 o'clock, I have another meeting um so today i actually have a 15 minute with somebody that subscribes to my channel right uh if you don't know i leave my calendar in the comments so i can talk to one person a day about whatever okay because i want to uh i want to know who's watching me and i want to talk to you guys see what you guys have going on or whatever um and just engage with people around the world that may have like mind, like minds and onto entrepreneurship, this you know, like sports and things like that. Would love to have a conversation with you guys. Um, and you know, maybe I can add some value. So that's you know, of course. So I have I have someone that has booked me to speak with them today. And of course, I'll tape it, let you guys know how it goes. Um, yesterday, man, so I had this, I had my meeting with my, my entrepreneur residence, and every single week, I just fi find out how much more I don't know, okay? And man, I'm a lifelong learner, <laughs> right? Like, I've learned so many things along my journey, and it's like, it's so dope to know what you don't know, right? And it's almost like, I think people are delusional, but you have to be delusional to, to some point, but not over delusional about what you're trying to build or what you're trying to do, because most people don't have a clue on what it really takes, how long it really takes, how to actually do it, and is that what they're doing worth their time to do it? Like, if I knew what I knew now, so many of those businesses that I did would not have even got past the idea, the idea, the idea stage. Okay? Because it just wouldn't make sense. I was not going to add enough value for people to pay on a consistent terms to actually make that a business. And I was always wondering like, like, man, like why founders don't be talking to you or why people, some people that are higher up in business don't really engage with you at a certain level. And it's because they, they know these things that you don't know. And it's really, really real. Like, because that's, I'm at that point now. Like, it's like so much work you have to do yourself. And then somebody comes and says on a surface level, hey, 
can you do this for me? And you're like, man, you know what? I would love to help that person, but they don't have a clue on what it actually takes. And it's a real, like, it's really a real thing. And I look at all of these things because like, yo, in every field, people are trying to gain the advantage, okay? Everything, you gotta look, you know, people short sell stocks, trying to gain an advantage. LeBron works on his body and pays so much money every year trying to, you know, gain an advantage. Um, people go to certain schools to try to gain an, an advantage, okay? Uh, and for the people that's bullshitting, they just running after girls. They just not taking care of themselves. Like, I talked about this videos ago. Like, there's really no competition because it takes so much. It takes so much discipline. It takes so much um, dedication to actually realize what you have in your mind, that vision, it takes so much for that realization to come into play. Now, you can get lucky, of course, but I think that's, if you get lucky, it's probably gonna set you back so much more rather than going through that process to actually get there. Uh, I don't want to go too too much deep on this, but it's a lot I have to say about the learning process, the mentoring process, the coaching process, because it's just things that if you don't get into certain situations, if you don't know certain people that has done it, it's things, you know, you probably can't read in a book. And if you do read it in a book, you won't find you won't find it in that book to know that you actually need to know those things. It's a weird thing, man. It's a weird thing. And they say like, what you don't know, you just don't know what you don't know. But what you don't know can hurt you. So I'm gonna start my day. You guys have a good day, man. Um, yeah, I'm calling about my uh, developer account. Uh, I'm trying to get my uh, account approved. It's been over, I think it's been like two weeks and it still says it's processing. Can I give you the uh, enrollment ID so you can check it out? Yes, please, that is great. Okay. Well, right now I'm on the phone with uh, Apple developers. With, with Apple development. Um, they haven't approved my, my developer account, so I'm trying to see what's going on. It's been over two weeks. After reviewing the arrow that I am seeing here that it's at the point where we can continue with the legal verification call, so I will continue the enrollment process by confirming some questions with you. Um, some of these questions I've already asked, but for the reason of the call, I'll have to ask them again, okay? Okay. Budget. Zero, zero. All right. So now that I've been able to gather this information with you, the enrollment process will go to the next phase. The next phase. In the next phase, you're going to receive two emails. The first email that you're going to receive is going to be the Apple Program License Agreement. Okay. Once you read and accepted those terms, you'll be prompted to enter your payment. 
Okay. After the payment has processed, about 48 business hours after the payment processing, you'll see your account move into the active status. Okay, perfect. The second email, your second email is going to be about adding uh, additional trusted numbers to your Apple ID for an extra layer of security for your account. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. You're very welcome, Hassan. I hope you have a great rest of your Tuesday. All right. You need to say, Ray. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. So the whole time, all I had to do was call him. We are in the Apple store, um, and it only took a call to do it. It's crazy because, look, I could have been got us onto the the Apple developer de developer uh, thing, but I was waiting. It said it was being processed. I think that I think there's a lesson in that. Like, don't wait. <laughs> like for real, don't wait. You could be waiting forever. You feel what I'm saying? And then, you know, you go towards it, and then boom, it happens. But you can't just you just can't sit. You know, with your arms folded, your your legs crossed, just waiting. Like you got to go ahead and go towards it. So. Yeah, and that took all but literally 15 minutes. Like I could have been did that. They just had to verify a couple of things or whatever. And then, um, man, like the account is ready. So I'm sitting up here waiting. Don't wait, man. Please don't wait. Found another, uh, Another VC, they are, um, <laughs> it says that they cater towards underrepresented founders. How many times have I heard this shit before? Man, I honestly, bro, I just don't like to even play this VC game, man. Like, real talk. Like, let me see their portfolio. Who are their, who, what companies in their portfolio? They got Jay Z. They don't even have a lot of companies. Future of Work. Let's see what they got in the Future of Work. Campus Inc. Let's see what this is about. Let's visit the website. <laughs> Everybody's talking about and I uh, What a freaking time to be alive, yo. I promise you. Man. If you're an athlete, man, oh my god. If you're an athlete, what a freaking time to be alive, man. Goodness gracious. What would I give to do that again at this time? Seriously. It's such opportunity right now. So much opportunity. So much opportunity for athletes. Yeah, so they got a small portfolio, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They only got eight companies, so they got a pretty small portfolio. What's their philosophy? I just don't like the VC game. I just don't like that shit. I swear, if we could just bootstrap 
I just want to do that. I just, I just don't want. I just don't want to play around with these jokers. I just really don't. Don't rock with me later. Rock with me now. And that's the thing that's that always happens. It's like, yo. Uh, it will get in when you show us. But it's like. Man, I really don't even want you to get it. Never really wanted you to get it, so. Uh, yeah. High Street Equity Partners. It works because in the state of Texas, man, it gets so hot. This actually... It's 116 degrees out here. This guy is actually one of my favorite YouTubers. You feel me? He is one of my favorite YouTubers. So you know, I talked. So I've talked about like the Cadence guys, uh, Ross McKay, Daniel Dallin, um, Marcus Milon, Milon uh, from Minton, New York. Uh, the guys from Represent. But this guy that I'm watching is one of my favorite YouTubers as well. Boy, just uploaded his new video. So man, don't tell me nothing about it being hot. I know it's human, but it don't compare to this. Man, it's still hot. I feel like this AC ain't serving no justice. And I've heard a lot of stories of guys dying of heat strokes from being out there, not staying hydrated, diet is not good, and just out there hustling, trying to get to the bag, you know? And so the summertime is, is a real good time to you know, to travel and get away from work if you can and just get out here, man, see the world. How are you? Um, glad you take some time. Love to hear about what's going on with you and the business. How uh, are going with Jerry, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, Jerry's my, uh, my ERI and, um, man, I'm uh, very happy to, to tell you about what's going on. Awesome. Yeah, so yeah, I know Jerry spoke with you yesterday, <laughs> and uh, we had to reach out to him about some um, questions we had, and he shared the things were going well. Um, so what's the share you have to share? Yeah, so uh, the first thing I have to say is just, you know, thank you, thank you guys again for, for this opportunity, and um, because I'm learning so, so much every single week. And it's 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 really really making me excited and helping me get closer to you know my mission of supporting the the, the athletes that we want to support you know solving the problem that we want to solve and uh, every single week I look forward to speaking to Jerry and, and and learning and connecting with him and seeing what he has to say and also chiming in on the things that uh, I want to tell him and. Uh, we've been really, you know, putting our heads together. It's been, it's been really, really great. So that's the first thing I want to say is like, man, really thank you, God, thank you for the opportunity. Um, as far as, as far as my business, uh, I believe we are, we are in um, a pretty good space because you know, this program so far has helped me in finding out a lot of different things with as far as like we're doing customer we're on customer discovery right now but we did uh the value proposition so so much power and so much uh value in that we just uh, went over the business uh the business model canvas i believe uh yesterday and we're getting into customer discovery now and uh at the same time, our platform is being built by the developers. So I think everything is going to kind of like line up perfectly. We want to launch November 1st. Any questions for me? Any, any concerns? Anything you want to bring up or anything you might need us that maybe we can have support with? Um, no, not really. Uh, the, one, the, one que the one question that, that uh, I, I probably should ask, right, is about when when it's time to go in to pitch our cust our company to the the team, the you know, the people that will make a decision 
or whether they want to invest into all dreams. What is that? Like, how does that happen? Like, what? Like, because I, I know when I talked to uh, Crystal uh, Callahan, she was like, she was saying like, okay, at the 91st day, she's saying it's like three funds or whatever. One is the founders go big, another is another fund, and another, it's another fund. But she said like once, what? Yeah. Let me clarify that. Yeah. Let me clarify that. So okay, we have okay. three funds. There are, there are three funds. One is not founders go big. There's a nonprofit fund. Mm -hmm. There's the for-profit fund, and then there's the opportunity to do the investor network. All those things are uh, related, but they're not the same. Right. So what, what, the way this works is, you know, you're working with your EIR and other support to help you get all that documentation ready. Right. And when they, when Jerry tells you're ready, he's going to say, okay, I think it's time for us to submit an application for funding. And Jerry's going to submit an application for funding. When it happens, you're preparing a data room for investors, for our investment committee to review. And um, someone's going to be assigned to diligence to make sure all the documentation is there, that it makes sense. They're going to write an investment memo, and then they're going to um, essentially send that over to the investment committee so they know all they need to know in, before your pitch. And then as that part is going on, our, our senior investment um, manager, who's going to reach out to you, tell you the documentation that we need, have you do some other things. Um, and everything is in preparation for you to pitch. Um, you, it, it's not a not, it's not a, a ninety days, and that's it. That's not how it works. Most of our clients are working on the documents for six months to a year before they actually go into the investment community for for a for you know a pitch. And that's also one of the things that you're working with Jerry on. We need to determine what the use of funds is and how you're sharing that information in your pitch deck and um, also in your financial projections. Right. So um, it, it's a complete process. You know, um, I guess you can, that's the major overview, like the mechanics of it, but what happens in a nutshell is that once the company is ready, all that documentation is presented in the funding application. Um, the data room is created. I look forward to talking with you probably in a month or so. All right, perfect. Thank you so much uh, for scheduling this update, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. And looking forward to that workshop. It's good. All right, you take care. All right, thank you so much. Bye bye. You're Six to fucking what? Six to twelve months for what? That ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work. Getting investment ready, people get a check tomorrow. I, I can get a check tomorrow. I don't like that. Like, I get the customer discovery, I get the business model canvas, I get all of that. The value proposition. I tell people every single day about the value proposition of what we bring with this company. But you can't run a company without the proper funding. So this needs to speed up. What's going on guys? It is, it's about like 4.57 p.m. Sitting here contemplating, should I go play basketball today? Um, today has not been the best day, honestly. This is why I document because on a journey you will have both good and bad days, right? It's important to capture all of those emotions while you're on this journey. And 
all of this stems from the conversation that I had earlier with the lady from Launch New York as I'm thinking one thing and I'm thinking I believe that I was told one thing and then now I'm told something completely different. Um, makes me question this whole startup world once again. And it's like a double-edged sword. Because if you want to do something significant, you cannot do this shit alone. Point blank, period. You want to do something significant in the world, like you have to have people that are behind you. You have to have teammates. You have people that have, have to have people that invest money in you, into you, and the thing that you want to do. It's just impossible to do something to the magnitude, like all dreams, to do that alone. It's impossible. nor do I want to do it alone. I love the team. I love, I actually love the program. You know, I love learning everything that I'm learning in that program. But nobody in the business, it's just like a business. It's a, this is a business. It's the same thing where, whereas people are saying, like people say, hey, I want to invest into that company. I want to invest into that company. It's the same thing where like, well, I let you invest into my company and we need money in order to scale and grow our company. Right? Um, no one's going to wait. No founder and not even me definitely not me as a founder is going to wait six months, do a program for 90 days and then wait six months for a $25,000 investment check. It's just not gonna happen. Like I would rather take my chances and move in, email investors, tell them about the opportunity. The only thing that's holding us back is that our platform is not up and running. Sales, product market fit cures everything. If you have sales, guess what? You probably just bootstrap depending on your sales. If your overhead is low and you don't even take on venture I know that's the route that I would love to go but we do we just we need about a hundred grand that's what I would say we need about a hundred grand in VC and VC funds within between now and the end of the year in my next meeting I'm asking when I say look this is what I need how do I start raising immediately that's my next meeting with my entrepreneurial residents. I get this customer discovery stuff. Like, I understand business model canvas, value proposition, pitch deck, uh, customer discovery, all of these things. Like I get all of that stuff, the business, you know, the business side of all of this, you know, talking to customers and everything. But a business needs money to, in order for it to run. In order for it to run and scale properly, a business needs money. And as a founder, it's my job to get money so the business runs properly. Um, so I'm not going to like 
go rogue on the program at all. However, however, I need to figure out where that money is going to come from. Like I said, we need about a hundred grand from now until December. That will get our platform launched, marketed, get everybody paid up until then. Then we can do another raise if we choose to, or possibly, um, I would go another round to try, you know, to try to get in tech stars or something like that. That's 120 grand. Uh, but yeah, that call was not the best call to find out what I found out, like due diligence and the application and it's all, it's depicting off if my entrepreneur resident says I'm ready and when I'm ready for a twenty-five thousand dollar check. Hell no, no way. It would have to be a hundred, hundred fifty, and I don't think they have that type of money in that program. Definitely not the Founders Go Big program. So, yeah, this is going on right now. And making sure I document these emotions and making sure I document like these things and we can see whether look, do we overcome this? How you know how how do we get past this in order to get to where we want to go? And that's the beauty of all of this. Again, I say like when Amazon is losing so much money, what the heck is happening in the inside of Amazon? And what if they're daily documenting that? 